good morning dear students today we are going to learn algebra standard 9th let's learn today second lesson real numbers and we will learn practice set 2.2 before starting practice set we will learn classification of real numbers real numbers is divided into two parts first one is rational number second is irrational numbers rational numbers further divided into four parts first one fractions terminating decimals recurring decimals and integers integers further divided into three parts negative integers zero and positive integers now irrational numbers non terminating and non recurring decimals and cannot be written in the form p upon q where p and q are integers and q not equal to 0 second condition the square roots that are not perfect squares are irrational numbers for example pi value 3.14159 it's a non terminating and non recurring decimals square root of 2 it's a not perfect square and square root of 17 it's also not perfect square so these example comes under irrational numbers by seeing this picture we can understand in a better way what's a rational number and irrational numbers dear students i know so many students are confused about terminating decimals and non terminating decimals let's learn first what is a terminating decimal when a fraction is divided its division completes and we get remainder zero it means it is a terminating now non terminating non terminating is divided into two groups first one is non terminating repeating second one is non terminating not repeating repeating is also known as recurring now first one non terminating and repeating means when we divide any fraction its division not completes means you will not get remainder zero but after the decimal a particular number or group of numbers will repeat so it's known as non terminating and repeating now second one non terminating non repeating it means division not completes and after the decimal a particular number or group of numbers will not repeat it's known as irrational numbers it means children when you divide any fraction numbers you get three types of decimals first one is terminating second is non terminating recurring third one is non terminating non recurring now we are going to start practice set 2.2 question number 1 show that 4 root 2 is an irrational number as we know that root 2 is a irrational number then too we have to prove proof let us assume that 4 root 2 is a rational number it is a irrational root 2 then too we have to assume therefore 4 root 2 equal to a upon b b not equal to 0 a and b are integer here we have used rational number definition root 2 equal to a upon 4b therefore root 2 is a irrational number but a upon 4b is a rational number because integers are rational numbers here root 2 equal to a upon 4b both are equal it is given so it means our assumption that 4 root 2 is a rational number is wrong therefore 4 root 2 is a irrational number now question number 2 Proof that three plus root five is an irrational number. As we know, root five is a irrational number, but we have to just assume it's a rational number. Proof. Let us assume that three plus root five is a irrational number. 
थ्री प्लस रूट फाइव इक्वल टू ए अपॉन बी वेर बी नॉट इक्वल टू जीरो ए एंड बी आर इंटीजर्स यर वी हैव टू यूज रैशनल नंबर डेफिनेशन दे फो रूट फाइव इक्वल टू ए अपॉन बी माइनस थ्री दे फो रूट फाइव इज अ इैशनल नंबर एंड ए अपॉन बी माइनस थ्री इज अ रैशनल नंबर इट मीन्स रूट फाइव इज अ इैशनल इक्वल टू ए अपॉन बी माइनस थ्री इज अ रैशनल इट मीन्स इैशनल इक्वल टू रैशनल इट्स नॉट पॉसिबल दिस मीन्स इट इज अ कॉन्ट्रेडिक्टरी दे फो आर अजम्पन दैट थ्री प्लस रूट फाइव इज अ रैशनल नंबर इज रॉन्ग थ्री प्लस रूट फाइव इज एन इैशनल नंबर Now, question number four. Write any three rational numbers between the two numbers given below. We have to write any three rational numbers between the given numbers. Question number one: zero point three and minus zero point five. Between these two numbers, we have to write any three rational numbers. So here we get three rational number between these two: zero point two, zero point one, and Minus zero point one, or you can take minus zero point two, minus zero point three, or minus zero point four. Solution: zero point three and minus zero point five. There are the three rational numbers between zero point three and minus zero point five are zero point two, zero point one, minus zero point one. You can write any three rational numbers between. Zero point three and minus zero point five. Now question number two. Minus two point three and minus two point three three. Here we have to write any three rational numbers between these two numbers. So after the decimal three is there and here after the decimal three three is there. So we take two zero after the three. Therefore, minus two point three equal to minus two point three zero zero, and minus two point three three equal to minus two point three three zero. Here, one zero we have taken, and in the first one we have taken two zero because after the decimal we have to keep same digits, equal digits. Therefore, the three rational numbers between minus two point three and minus two point Three three are minus two point three zero one, minus two point three zero two, and minus two point three zero three. Now question number three. Five point two and five point three. Between these two, we have to write the rational numbers. Solution: five point two and five point three. Between these two, no rational numbers. So after the decimal, we take one zero. 5.2 equal to 5.20 and 5.3 equal to 5.30. 20 and between 30 we get nine rational numbers. Among that you can write any three rational numbers. Therefore, the three rational numbers between 5.2 and 5.3 are 5.21, 5.22 and 5.23. Now question number four. Minus four point five and minus four point six. Solution: minus four point five and minus four point six. Between these two, we have to write three rational number. So after the decimal, we take zero. Therefore, minus four point five equal to minus four point five zero and minus four point six equal to minus four point six zero. Between sixty and fifty, we get the nine rational number. Among that, you can write any three. Here we have taken minus four point five one, minus four point five two, and minus four point five three. Number three represent the numbers root five and root ten on a number line. these are the irrational number we can't represent on the number line only rational numbers we can represent on a number line for irrational numbers we have to construct so take the o that is your origin and zero 
here from 0 to 1, I will take 1 unit. 1 unit equal to I am taking 3 centimeter. 1 unit equal to I am taking 3 centimeter. So, this is your 1 unit at the 3 centimeter. At the 6, 2 centimeter and 3 centimeter. I have taken 3 units. This is a 1, this is the 2 and this is the 3. At the 2, I am giving the name. A. From A, you have to draw the perpendicular line. Draw one perpendicular line and put the symbol of right angle. Now, take the compass, one unit. One unit distance we have taken 3 centimeter. So, take the 3 centimeter, keep on the A. And take the arc. Now at the arc you give any name. I am giving a B. Now this O and this B join these two. Join these two points. You get O B is a hypotenuse. And this is a side one and this is a side two. This A B distance is one unit. And this OA distance is 2 units. Now, side 1 and side 2, we have a major. But hypotenuse we don't have. So, we will find hypotenuse by Pythagoras theorem. So, Pythagoras theorem, hypo square equal to side 1 square plus side 2 square. So, OB square length, OB square equal to length OA square plus length AB square. Now OA is 2, AB is 1 unit. So 2 square is 4 and 1 square is 1 equal to 5. Therefore OB equal to square root 5. So this root 5 is your hypotenuse. Now take again your compass Keep on the O and this pencil on the B and draw the arc. Cut this number line. Draw the arc. This arc is your root 5 and give the name S. Now similarly we have to construct root 10. So for root 10 we have to draw the perpendicular line from the unit 3. So, draw the perpendicular line, give the aroma, give the perpendicular symbol. Now, with the compass, same, what AB you need, you have taken the measurement, 3 cm. So, take the 3 cm and draw the arc. Here, give the B. Here, give the P and here, give the name Q. And this O, Q, you have to join, you get the hypotenuse. Join these two, you get the hypotenuse. Now, this P, Q is a one unit. Here, again, we have to find out the hypotenuse that is O, Q. So, we will find by Pythagoras theorem. O, Q is your hypo. Length O Q square equal to O P square plus P Q square. O P is the distance 3 units. So 3 and P Q is a 1 unit. So 1. 3 square is 9 and 1 square is 1. You get 10. Therefore length O Q equal to square root of 10. This hypotenuse we got root 10. Now keep the compass on the O and keep your pencil on the Q and draw the arc. Cut this number line. Now you got your root 10. This way children you have to construct the irrational numbers on the number line. Thanks dear students. Have a nice day.